a bit about an adaptation. An adaptation is either a physical part of your body or a behavior you do that helps you to survive. Uh, an example of a physical adaptation are stripes on a tiger. These stripes allow the tiger to blend into its surroundings. An example of a behavioral adaptation would be fish living together in large groups. They live together in large groups to protect themselves from predators. Now, one of my favorite adaptations is camouflage. Camouflage is the ability for a creature or plant to blend in with its environment. I want to make clear it doesn't mean that it's invisible. It just means that that animal or, or plant is a little harder to see than it normally would be because it blends in with its surroundings. Again, like that tiger. Now, I'm going to show you guys a fun camouflage activity that you can do pretty much everywhere. To start, you're going to need tape, something to color with, scissors, and a piece of paper. The first thing you're going to want to do is draw a creature. I like to use a fish. You can see here I've drawn a very basic fish. Your drawing ability doesn't actually matter. What matters is that you've drawn a very basic shape that can be cut out later on. Now, how do you color this creature? Well, let me tell you. Now, how you start off this game is first look at the room around you. What you want to be aware of is you want to be aware of all the different colors in the room, all the different objects in the room. You are going to pick one of those objects to place your fish against. And the goal is to color your fish so that it'll blend in with that object. Because what you're going to be doing after you color it, cut it out, and stick it against that wall, you're going to have somebody else stand in the center of the room and look around and see if they can spot your camouflaged fish. Now remember, it cannot be hidden underneath anything. You shouldn't have to look under anything, like under a table, to find your creature. They shouldn't have to lift anything up to find the creature. It should be out in the open where you can see it with your eyes from the center of the room, but you definitely want it camouflaged to make it a little bit harder for them to see. I'll do a quick example for you guys right now. Now, you don't have to tell anybody what your hiding spot is. You don't even have to let them know what color you colored in your fish. It doesn't even have to be colored in all that well because again, you're going to be cutting this out later on. If you want to get fancy, you could also color the fish multiple colors to see if it can blend in a little bit better, maybe with a uh, fancier pattern. Okay. After you're done coloring, you're going to cut out your fish. And you're going to get a piece of tape. And I recommend sticking the piece of tape on the back of the fish just to hide the tape shine. Sometimes the light catches the tape and it shines out a bit. Now I have my fish. So we're going to do a quick cut and when we come back we're going to see if you guys can find the fish that I've hidden in this room. Alright, I've now hidden the fish somewhere in this room. We're going to have the camera pan over pretty slowly, I want you guys to take a good look while that's happening and see if you can locate my camouflaged fish. Remember, what the camera is doing is going to be what your friend that you have is going to be doing as well. So as a reminder, don't hide the fish underneath anything. You shouldn't have to lift up an object or look underneath something to find your camouflaged fish. It should be out in the open, just a little bit harder to see. All right, were you guys able to find my fish? Let me show you where it is. Come this way. 
Because my fish was blue, I had to hide it against something that was blue. I chose the doors here. In fact, my fish is right here against this door handle. Now, once your fish has been found, what you can always do is have your friends take this fish and hide it somewhere else in the room while you close your eyes, maybe you step outside the room for a little bit. You can actually reuse the same fish multiple times or simply draw a new one and color it a different color. You can play this game several times. And that's our camouflage game. Good luck playing. Happy finding. Bye.